Hello friends, this is Maddy and in this video, I am going to show you a must-have device if you are into RC hobby. I am talking about this small and handy tool. This is a LiPo tester and also a low voltage buzzer. This is a very useful tool if you are in field and trust me, it can save your LiPo battery literally from death. If you are into RC hobby, you must know that if you drain a LiPo battery beyond a certain limit, the battery becomes useless and it won't charge again. This is not the only thing. Over drainage of LiPo battery can also make your RC model crash and result may be more scary. So to avoid such loss, I would recommend you to buy something like this because this gadget can save you from both of these scenarios and it can be lifesaver for your LiPo battery and for your RC model. So before going to test this device, let me give you a brief description about this LiPo tester which is written backside of this device. According to the description which is written here, you can test battery up to 8 cells which means voltage range supported by this device is between 3 watts to 30 watts and per cell voltage display range supported by this device is ranging between 0.5 volts to 4.5 volts which means the voltage indicator can display voltage per cell between these range only voltage detection precision can be plus or minus 0.01 watts that means the possibility of error in reading would be 0.01 watt either 0.01 watt above or 0.01 watt below from the actual voltage next point is low voltage buzzer value which is by default 3.30 volts per cell but you can also change it and the value could be set between 2.7 watts to 3.8 watts. So the concept is when voltage of any cell drops below that defined value, the device will raise the buzzer. This device also allows you to turn off this low voltage alarm features, which is definitely not recommended but it still has that option in case if you want to turn it off. Apart from this, you can also use this device with other battery types like lithium ion, lithium manganese and LiFe. So this was all the technical things about this device. Now it's time to see this in action, which is actually really very simple take your lipo battery and put this balance charging plug in a way so that the negative wire which is the black wire should go to the leftmost pin of this device if you have any doubt you can refer the markings at backside of this device every pin is marked with the input detail here you can see the leftmost pin is marked with a negative sign so the negative wire goes to this pin now this pin the second one is marked with 1s which means in case of one cell battery the positive wire or red wire goes here and similarly this one is for two cell battery this one for three and so on and so forth up to eight cells so now we know how to plug this battery so here we go three cells 11.3 watts number 1 3.8 number 2 3.7 number 3 3.8 all of them 11.3 volts so 
this was the voltage indicating feature of this device now it's time to check the buzzer feature also as i said before the default buzzer value of this device is 3.30 watts and you can easily check the default value or current value by pressing this small button here at the top i hope you guys can see it so let's do it it says 3.30 watts which is a default value so right now all three cells has voltage more than this limit hence the buzzer will not be triggered so let's change this limit and increase it a bit so that we can check the buzzer feature also as i said earlier in this video we can raise this limit up to 3.8 watts only and fortunately we have seen during the voltage testing and you can see it right now here also the number two cell has 3.77 voltage so in our case the maximum allowed limit should be enough to check this buzzer feature so here we go setting it to 3.80 it's done now wait for a moment You can also turn it off just like this so this was the short demonstration about this device you can install it into your RC model it is pretty lightweight device it weighs around 10 gram so the change is only about plus 10 gram in, into your RC model but it can definitely save you time and money so overall this is a pretty nice device to have and if you want to purchase one like this check the links below in description you can have it by spending only about two bucks i hope this video will help you guys a bit and if you like this video click on thumbs up at right bottom of this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get the notification about more upcoming videos like this. So this is it. Thanks for watching.